Yo, what is up, you Twitch boy Nahid? Back to do something different. By the way, I'm feeling great. I'm good. Uh, this is probably gonna be the first video I post uh, every, on YouTube, you know, after my little break that I had. But I'm excited, guys. I'm so happy to be back. Uh, so I will be watching Legend, a Dragon Ball Tale by uh, Studio Stray. The channel is called Agent Mystery Meet. I had a friend uh, basically message me and was like, hey, dude, you need to watch this. This is like pretty sick. If you're a Dragon Ball Z fan and you're not watching it, you're messing up. So I'm here. I'm here to watch. I'm here to check it out. Uh, apparently, you can leave the full reaction on there, which is uh, just pretty easy for me to edit. <laughs> you feel, you feels me. But regardless of that, I'm stoked. I'm excited. I've heard a lot of good things about it. I really don't know what this is about, but I know this is a fan made Dragon Ball uh, film. And, you know, I'm a big Dragon Ball Z. I mean, you, you guys know. You guys know how much I love the Saiyans and shit. You know, it's my favorite. One of my favorite tales, next to Naruto. I mean, I, I, I go back and forth, but like, you know, uh, like I said, I growing up, this is what I watched, and this is what got me through a lot of uh, crazy times as a kid. So, yeah, I'm pretty excited for it. But uh, without further ado, let's do this stuff. You know, the, uh, you guys know the announcements, comment, like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, Un uncuss early access on, uh, on uh, Patreon and YouTube memberships, all that crazy stuff. I hope you guys are doing great. Thank you for the, allow I mean, I, I, I had a break. I needed the break, but thank you for being so patient with me and understanding, you know, how this works you feel me because like i always tell everybody like you know doing this by yourself if you're not good here the reactions just fucking suck and i know you guys don't want to see a bullshit reaction right right so yeah so i appreciate that i'm like pretty fucking i'm i'm dude i feel dandy i feel great let's do this all right let's do this let's do this let's do this shit No budget. Okay, gotcha. Let's do this. I love that, bro. That's beautiful. I love it. Damn, this person really, really loves this shit. I... Hell yeah, dude. I love that. That's amazing. Yeah, bro, for real. His inspiration will always remain un immeasurable. Nasir Pasha, thank you, fam. That's I, I'm I'm so excited to see your craft and your work. Ooh, the Saiyan flag. Okay, awesome. Is that Raditz and fucking uh? Yeah, uh My <laughs> son, stay strong. Your crown is here, and your kingdom awaits your return. This looks nice so far, man. Chi Chi fighting? Oh, Have wow. we ever met? Have we ever met? If you don't mind, uh, can you just tell me what I forgot so I can remember? Unbelievable! And did you forget the promise you made me as well? <sighs> you promised to marry me, Goku! That's the chick you want, right? Well, his life's over. Yeah, his life is over. Uh, Who are the voiceovers? Uh, uh, is that all you can say for yourself? I... Uh, Allah. Is that Vegeta? It's power level. Over 9,000! There we go! Well, that doesn't want. Yeah, okay, there we go.
Who this be? No, that's Vegeta. The green light. The gold you fashion. It's not every day that a king leaves his throne. But for you, I make a royal exception. Who is the other guy that they called him? Kerr Kakarot. The new king, okay. <laughs> Who this be? Oh shit, that's Broly. Oh, fuck. This is, and this is fantastic. Dude, did you, who, bro, if you, dude, you made this? trained for this one moment. For the pride of the Saiyans. For my family. And yes, Ooh. even you, Kakarot. Saiyan legend, hear me. Today a god falls, bones to dust, ashes to the wind! Wow, this is amazing, bro, for like the anime. Oh man, I'm like in freaking awe back here, y'all. Holy shit! Oh, this is nice. That's how it is. Please don't bother, Daddy. I'm fucking. This is fan made. Man, some of them, some of y'all are so freaking talented. Flash! Oh, fuck! Oh, that was, that's amazing. Are you serious, Chi Chi? You know who the fuck he is? What? Oh my! <laughs> that just happened? Oh, he's fucking pissed. My boy is fucking pissed. The anger. What is he doing? Is he turning into a say uh, Super Saiyan or? Dude, that's fire. The savior from heaven? Son Goku. Guys, this is This is, this is out of this world, oh my god! Oh shit! Oh, wow! Oh, dude, the coloration on this, man! What?! They're working together like fucking, I mean, they, they, you know, oh, dude, this is, uh, oh. <laughs> no, this is beautiful. This is damn right beautiful, man. I, I remember. It's Chi Chi, right? Yeah, your wife. Kakarot, stop calling me that. That name is your birthright. For you, just like I, are the legacy of a proud race of golden warriors. Agreed, yeah. We are the keepers of the primal light. 
your light is out of control and must be refined to be useful. Your days under the sun are numbered, Kakarot. So marry that woman while you still have the chance. And come with me. We have to prepare. For what? War. Is there more? Oh, Nasir Pasha. Wow. That was absolutely breathtaking. Who are the voices? Else, okay. I'm wild back here, guys. I'm very much wild. That was, that was magnificent. That was, I just, I don't know what else to say except for it's, it was just freaking magnificent, guys. Um, I, yeah, I'm, I'm completely wild back here. This, is, this was just nothing but amazingness, in my personal opinion. Uh, it's, uh, first of all, this is a fan, a fan-made, situation, which is like kind of, uh, first of all, I didn't expect it to be this good. I'm, I'm very much wild about it. The animation that, the, that they had going on, it, it just reminded, it, it, dude, I'm, you know, it's just, it was really well done. Uh, I'm just, all the fight scenes, the choreography that they did, even the voiceovers, they sounded like the original guys. They did, a good, whoever the voiceovers were, they did a good job of sounding like Vegeta, Goku, and Chi Chi. Um, I, I feel like we're like in a whole different universe of it, and like, I love how at the end of it, uh, Vegeta was like, war, war is what we need to prepare for. You know, it, they, they, it's almost like they put Vegeta in a different light. Like, you know, Vegeta has always been kind of like second to Goku in so many different ways. But like, in this, in this iteration of it, it felt like they were not, e I don't know how to say it. Like, he was, he's king, he's King Vegeta. And he's always been king. I mean, he's the Prince of the Saiyans, but like, he never got to be king and now he's king. And it's almost like he has like some sort of like, how do I say this? Like a, a mission state, a mission to do. Like there's a war happening and he, instead of like having, you know, Goat Kakarot as his like, you know, his rival or an enemy or anything of that sort, it's more of like, no, he's my partner now, my partner to do this. Like dude, dog, they, at the end of that shit, they, I mean, they did a Kamehameha together. And I, don't, and I know for a fact, like Vegeta doesn't, I do no Kamehameha, Kamehameha. They did a double Kamehameha and then they just went at him. And Goku's transformation, fam, I don't know, man. I, I'll be real with you. That was pretty much out of this world. Like, you, you know, it's, we've seen all the transformations, but this one was definitely something different. I was very confused in the beginning. I thought that Broly was actually Vegeta, but it ended up being Broly because he called him Kakarot. Like, you know, only one person I know calls him Kakarot. That's fucking Vegeta. I think maybe Broly. I don't, I'm not sure. But it's just so well done, and I'm just very impressed back here. As a Dragon Ball Z fan... First of all, the stuff he said in the beginning about what Dragon Ball Z has done for everybody, like around the world, like it is, it is so factual and it's so true. It, you know, all the people that work out like crazy, you know, they, uh, all the people that like, you know, whenever, whenever it gets tough, they, they, you know, like we look at the sayings for people like me as like uh, an example of like, how, like to how to be, like to never give up, constant strength, keep fucking moving forward. You know what I mean? And I just love what he said in the beginning about how immeasurable that this piece of content has been for the whole entire world. Like, you know, in the grand scheme of things, you know, like as story-wise, I will say Naruto Shippuden is probably a little bit better when it comes to heart with the Dragon Ball Z saga. But like, if you want to actually talk about like what has put a worldwide, what has, what has left a mark is dr definitely Dragon Ball Z. You know what I mean? They're called the big three for a reason because they grandfathered off of Goku and the fam. He feels me like... You know, Goku was, he was, they made a float for him, you know, for uh, Thanksgiving. Um, you know, he was the uh, Japanese ambassador during the Olympics. Like, the, 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 the moniker of this series is worldwide, and it's fantastic. And it's been such a positive light, I feel like, to the world. And it's, it's nonstop. Uh, I'm actually really excited for the Dragon Ball Z. Uh, I don't know if they're making a Gohan movie. I know it's CGI, but I've heard, you know, whatever. It is what it is. 
I love it. I'm very happy with it, guys. I'm a fan, just fanboying back here because how good it was. I'm so giddy right now. It's unbelievable. It's definitely set the mood for the day. Uh, yeah, man, Nasir Pasha, you killed it, fam. Oh my gosh, you killed it, my brother. You killed it, you killed it, you killed it. Uh, yeah, man, that's all I got to say. Thank you all for watching, man. This is, ooh, this is fantastic. Um, yeah, like I always leave these reactions and I say, you know, take care of yourself, take care of your families, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace!